Hello everyone, welcome to Static GK quiz number 219. This video is aimed to help you with your state and central government exams like SSC, UPSC, state PSCs and banking and insurance related examinations like RRB, IBPs, etc. I'm Nitrisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Which committee on the working of the monetary system in India emphasized that real deficit should include not only the overall budgetary deficit, but also the market borrowings and the liabilities giving birth to a new concept of fiscal deficit. Correct answer is S. Chakravarti Committee. S. Chakravarti or Sukhama Chakravarti Committee was formed in December 1982 under the chairmanship of Professor Sukhama Chakravarti to assess the functioning of the Indian monetary system. Its goal was to improve monetary regulation, a feat that was hoped would enable price stability. The committee, which submitted its report in April 8, 1985, believed that price stability was essential for promoting growth and achieving other social objectives. Which among the following is incorrect regarding NPA or non-performing asset? Among the given options, option C which says a loan repayment which is delayed beyond one year has to be identified as NPA is incorrect. So the time that is given is 180 days. So that's six months. A loan repayment which is delayed beyond six months has to be identified as NPA. What is the approximate height of a geostationary satellite? Correct answer is 35,000 kilometers. A geostationary equatorial orbit is a circular geosynchronous orbit in the plane of the Earth's equator with a radius of approximately 42,164 kilometers. So, a satellite which sits on this orbit is at an altitude of approximately 35,786 km above mean sea level. 180 degree longitude is also known as International Date Line. The International Date Line, established in 1884, passes through the mid Pacific Ocean and roughly follows a 180 degrees longitude north south line on the Earth. It is located halfway around the world from the prime meridian, which is the zero degree longitude established at Greenwich, England in 1852. So uh, if you see the map, the line deviates its places. So this is because we don't want to mess up the dates in a particular country. So what we are trying to achieve by deviating the line is to maintain a single date in a single country or uh, island. In which period of the Indian history the Kanampa zero as well as decimal system was invented? Correct answer, Gupta. The period is called Golden Age of India and was marked by extensive inventions and discoveries in science, technology, engineering, art, dialectic, literature, logic, mathematics, astronomy, religion and philosophy that crystallized the elements of what is generally known as Hindu culture today. So the Gupta period was indeed a golden age of India and that's when Aryabhatta was present and uh, the discovery of the number zero happened during that time as well. Ganymede is the largest moon in the solar system. It is a satellite of planet Jupiter. Ganymede is a satellite of Jupiter and is the largest, most massive of the solar system's moons. The ninth largest object in the solar system it is the largest without a substantial atmosphere. On which of the following dates International Literacy Day is observed every year? Correct answer is September 8th. 8th September was declared International Literacy Day by UNESCO on 26th October 1966 at the 14th session of UNESCO's General Conference. It was celebrated for the first time in 1967. It aims to highlight the importance of literacy to individuals, communities and societies and celebrations take place in several countries. Who among the following Indian economists have played a crucial role in the MNREGA formerly known as NREGA? The correct answer is Jean Dries. So uh, he is a Belgian born Indian economist and activist and has worked on several developmental issues Facing India like hunger, famine, gender inequality, etc. He is well known for his commitment to social justice both in India and internationally. In fact, he was recently briefly detained by Jharkhand police for his activism. And uh, since this happened, uh, in, it becomes a current affairs issue. So this question is uh, especially important. 
for your upcoming uh, PSCs and uh, your union public service as well. Which of the following took birth with Treaty of Assumption? Correct answer is Mercosur. So Mercosur is a sub-regional bloc of South American countries. Its purpose is to promote free trade and the fluid movement of goods, people and currency. It was established in 1991 and its headquarters are located in Montevideo, Uruguay. It calls itself the common market of the South America at present. It is a full customs union and trading bloc. Its full members are Argentina, Brazil, Paraguay and Uruguay. Which of the following commodities are directly affected by the fluctuations in international rates of crude oil? Correct answer here would be gold and silver. They are directly affected by the fluctuations of gold or crude oil rate. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.